catch that fish. Where did you go? I'm looking for Scarback. Every time I come in this bay, I see him. He's like stalking big game. Oh, my heart is pumping. No. They just disappear, these fish. They're ghost fish. So I'm starting to see things I'm going crazy. I think it's Scarback. Hey, every now and then, one will turn. Scarback, where are you? The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Sale, the outdoors superstore. Coleman, the outdoor company. Muscal, proudly Canadian since 1951. Cooper Tires, life's a road trip. Come on, let's go. And Prince Craft Boats, dominate the waters. When you're talking giant pike, you normally think of way up in Northern Ontario, Manitoba, Quebec, Northwest Territories, or even Nunavut Territories. But I'll tell you what, this little lake right here is only a 10 hour drive from Toronto. And I guarantee you, it will rival any one of those. While we're still within driving range of the big smoke, we've definitely hit some true wilderness. All it takes is a short flight with White River Air and you're truly alone in the bush. We packed up everything I need for the outpost camp. Bait, food, fishing gear, fuel, a trusty Merc. It's funny though, everything at base camp seems so familiar. Every scene, every conversation seemed like a memory, almost like a dream. And then I remembered, I did have a dream of being on Garnham Lake, of a monster fish that no one could catch. One that wore the heel wounds of many battles. After hearing about Pete's dreams, I think I'll take this out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it was an eerie feeling flying over the Northern Ontario wilderness. I was being flown into a small lake right in the middle of nowhere. And all I could think of was that dream. I was here for a reason. I could feel it in my blood. I had a date with destiny. Touching down on Garnum, I met up with some Michigan boys who have fished this lake for years. If you ever want to know the best fishing spots, talk to the guys who fish those waters if you get the chance. They told me about a bay at the south end of the lake, one that was loaded with pike, but the one to look for was a massive scarred northern that no one could catch. And so I made my plan. I'd start out at the north end, getting a feel for the conditions, and then make my way south. When the float plane passed overhead, I knew I was alone. Time to go to work. There's a legend out there somewhere waiting for me. I'm just gonna cruise through here. Really slow, the wind's perfect for this bay. And look for fish. Two pike, two pike together. That was funny. Not a big pike, but but you know what? I casted that because I saw two fish sitting together, and I knew they weren't really big. But I uh, but I wanted to see the, see how the reaction would be. With it. And, and you know what? Laying right there, and as soon as I look at that, he's already done. As soon as I put the little little spinner beside him, whoosh, turned it had to get real close to him. He turned on it and and hit it. And that's what I'm trying to do now. Is I'll try and establish if first the fish are going to hit artificials like this. I got a I got some big suckers too set up if I need them. But that's a small fish in this lake. Like a lot of large pike, the fish here aren't overly aggressive. Sometimes it's good to switch things up. Rather than a quick moving spinner, I decided to go with the slow presentation of a big weightless tube. I got a treat for you guys. But sometimes even your best hunches don't work. Time to bring out the big guns. Here he comes, here he comes. I got you. I got you. <laughs> that was so cool. That fish took forever to, to decide on eating that minnow. I'm gonna go right into the weeds. This is perfect. Look at this. That's the beauty of a, what they call a quick strike rig, is that when he grabs it, you nail it. Even if it's live bait, if dead bait or live bait, quick strike. Look at this guy, he's lethargic as heck. Is that because of your, uh, Water temp, brother? 
Look, he's sitting on the bottom. His tail's on the bottom, like he wants to jump. There you go. He knew he had something left in him. <sighs> nice northern. That's what I came here for. Very lethargic, but you know what? Good fish. Coming up, I start my hunt for the scarred pike. Sometimes an angler has to dig deep into his bag of tricks, and today was one of those days. With the cold water temperatures, these pike really have to be coaxed. There's absolutely nothing wrong with using a combination of lures to get the job done. When these fish are off, man, sometimes it's, you know, it's, it's live bait time. I'm a strong proponent of live bait. As soon as that float goes down, you gotta pop them. It's, it's, it's all about quick strike. You hit them fast so the fish does not swallow. Mm. Oh, I'm sitting here looking for fish as I got this one because he's not very big. A little pike, a little fatty. Watch this guy go crazy. Mm. Come here, butt. Just try and get you up just like that. A little one for up here. That's one for the kids. When you bring the kids fishing, you let them take that and you catch the 20 pluses. Sorry, kids. While I've had a bit of luck in the shallows, I know if I want to catch the big guys, I've got to go deeper. Boat's down. Boat was down. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's a good one. He's a pretty good one. <laughs> this is fun, man. I was just saying, you know, your float won't go down, but if you're sitting there talking to a camera, your float might go down. He's, uh, he's a decent pike. He's not huge, but I'll take him. I might not even have to touch this bike. Did you know that Ontario has the best northern pike fishing on the continent? With exceptional fisheries located across the province, these prehistoric monsters are lurking in countless lakes and rivers. And once they start striking, you're in for a ferocious battle. Pike, after all, have changed very little in the past 50 million years. With their sharp teeth and long serpentine bodies, these bad girls look and fight like evolutionary throwbacks. And trust me, it's the females you'll be going for. They're the much larger of the species. With a diet that can include fish, frogs, small rodents, muskrat, and even young waterfowl, pike are true predators. Get one on your line, and you'll know why they're at the top of the food chain. Going after pike definitely puts the sport in sport fishing. And unlike most parts of the country, where catching monster pike requires an extended trip to the northern regions, Ontario's monsters can be found in all areas of the province, north to south. For a true fishing treat, look to Ontario's northern pike. You don't have to drive far to find adventure. In fact, it's as close as GoFishInOntario.com. He got it. He got it. It's a big one. It's a big one. When he flares his gills, he looks like a monster. Loosen your drag right here. There, you see that right there? That's when you want to loosen your drag up a little bit when they get close to the boat because they're gonna, they're gonna take a run. There's no doubt about it, they're gonna take a run. Some guys push their, uh, push their button and free spool them. Come on, big guy. I wish I had a big basket right now for you. Oh, <laughs> baby, look at that monster. That's a big, that's a big, <laughs> northern. <laughs> oh man, look at that. that. You know what, this is not far to the north. This is Algoma in Ontario. And look at that, that pike is Northwest Territory size right there. <laughs> it's my favorite part of big pike right there. When they take off on the surface, whoosh. Thank you, big girl. <laughs> my reel is squeaking. He's, I think he blew up my gears actually. Whoa. As they'd say in Algoma, oh yeah. <laughs> I gotta put him back down and I'll try and unhook him there. That is a beast, folks. It's not bad. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, folks. Look at that head on that fish. That is a beast of a fish right there. Can you imagine you and the boys coming into a little camp like this? You fly in, camp for a couple days. This is my first day in. I just came in here to try and catch a big pike. Success, first day, not knowing the lake. Bye-bye, buddy. I got him right down in the weed bed. <sighs> Woo! There's still one bay left and one fish that has remained in my sights. It's you and me, Scarback. Just you and me. I've made my way to the south end of the lake, exactly where my U.S. Pike Brothers pointed me. It's now or never. Time to bear down. Uh oh. I don't think it's the same one. It might be. He's not huge, but he's not bad. I don't, I don't know if the same fish. This bay is so full of pike that it's freaky. I'm throwing dead bait in front of him, live or dead bait, and trying to work it as best I can. But these guys, they need a little convincing. They don't want to eat it just dead. So they're following it, they're nosing it. When you move it, they come after it, they come after it. So, but look at how slow these guys are. Like they're, they're very, very slow in fighting and everything. So the water temp must be really affecting these fish. You know, that's a decent pike right there. That's a decent fish, but if you look at his lip, it's all bent and crooked and there's a mark, there's a hole there, that wasn't mine. Somebody has caught that fish before and catch and release has let me catch that fish as well. Very cool, not big, but you know what? These things make up a day. They fill the day up. Uh, you, you catch, I could probably catch 20 of these in a couple of days staying at a camp here. This bay right here alone, you could come in and just load the boat with them. So get them back quick. <sighs> See you, dog. Today's hotspot is a shallow bay on Garnham Lake that warms up quickly in the spring, a perfect place for northern pike to rest after the spawn. The waypoint on your screen will take you right there. Upon entering the bay, try conventional baits like spinner baits, suspended minnow baits, and top waters. But if the fish don't react quickly, then bring out the live suckers on a quick strike rig. It's important to remember to set the hook as soon as the pike grabs it. Any hesitation, and the fish could try swallowing the whole rig, thus hooking it deep in the throat. For more hot spots like this one, check out fishincanada.com. I'm looking for Scarback now as I'm fishing this guy. It's crazy, he's like stalking big game. Oh, got him. You see what, I, <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> that fish spooked, but he couldn't handle it. He couldn't, he couldn't deal. <laughs> he couldn't deal with that live sucker. Uh, he's not bad, actually. He's not bad at all. <laughs> That's fun stuff there, folks. That is fun stuff there. Hello. He's just pulling me around the lake right now. You know what? That's a great pike. I almost did not cast to that fish. That is a great, great pike. When you do that, you got to watch it too because they'll catch a rivet on the bottom of your boat. And then you're in trouble. Yeah, that may be the toughest pike I've ever caught, folks. The toughest. Man, he gave me a tussle. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna put him back down in the water and then I'm gonna just unhook him at the side of the boat. Whew. Nicely done, pike. It was getting late in the day. Soon light would begin to fade but the pre-twilight of this northern afternoon seemed to feel just right. Oh, holy, he is big. I think that's him again. Or else I'm starting to see things going crazy. There he comes, there's one right here. There's a scar on his back. Oh, oh, oh. seen this fish three or four times. He 
He's a smart bugger. That's the smartest pike in Algoma, right there. Where are you? Oh, I've seen him. Every time I come in this bay, I see him. He does something different every time. Scarback, where are you? There's a small one there. Oh, there it is, I think. Yeah, there it is. She's gonna come right at it. Oh. She ate it. She ate it. She ate it. I think it's Scarback. I think it's Scarback. I don't know. It's got a scar on his back. Let's see what we got going on here. Is it you, old Scarback? I know you got a scar on you. It's definitely a big fish. Oh, and she's got scars on her back. Yep, that's her. Look at this gator. What a monster. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. I don't even know if it's hooked though. Honestly, the leader is right across its mouth. The middle is on the other side. No idea if this fish is even hooked. Ooh, my favorite part of pike fishing, right there when they do the big swoosh. Whoa. Catch a ribbon on me now. Another back. There it is. Look at that fish. Wow! <laughs> oh, outstanding. What a monster. Can you believe these pike are available with a, a drive from Toronto? Oh! Hope she didn't hurt herself there. It's time for you, Mama. Show the world how big and bad you are. I'll tell you what, Scarback, in the boat. I got her. I've tried so many times for this fish. Look at the scars on that beast. Wow. Back she goes. I'm soaked again, but you know what? With scars like that, that is so worth a soaking. Our gills are going good. There she goes. How awesome is this fishing? How awesome is this little lake? And you get the pike fishing in your lifetime. Obviously, I've had to change my tactics. I wanted to get, I wanted to get these fish on spinners, on everything else, but I came with a backup plan. I came with that sucker rig, you know? And, and as long as it's a quick strike rig, and the fish grabs it and you set the hook, you see that? It's just, in the, it's in the mouth every time. So it's not damaging, they don't swallow it down like the old school way, so. <sighs> I'm in my glory, can you tell? So, and I love it. <sighs> awesome. To get to today's fantastic fishing location, I headed north on Highway 400 to Highway 69. At Sudbury, I headed west on Highway 17 to the town of White River. I then boarded a float plane at White River Air, which took me to the Southern Outpost Camp on Garnham Lake. The Fish in Canada Show, brought to you in part by Ram Trucks, nothing works harder than a Ram. Stearns, trusted on the water since 1952. Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. And Outdoor Canada, Canada's only national fishing and hunting magazine.